Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai, Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai, Kahala Yahawa, Bahashim Yahawa Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash. Yahawa is the name of the Heavenly Father, according to the Paleo Hebrew. Yahawa Shai is the name of His Son, our Lord, our Savior, according to the Paleo Hebrew. We are the Hebrew Israelites, Yasha Allah, their chosen people. We come in week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom, the daughter of Babylon, known in today's time, America. So I just wanted to basically give some words of exhortation to any brother that's pretty much going through hell on the plantation. And pretty much what I have here on the screen, I am a welder, you know, and I work at a, a construction place. And that line of work is hell, okay? And I'm sure many brothers are going through hell in their various uh, respective jobs or skills, okay? But pretty much I uh, just want to bring out some precepts. While you're on the job or, or while you're in the midst of your hell, remember Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai. Because, you know, just working, just giving my testimony, working in a construction uh, a construction plant, okay? Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai, he can mess you up in many ways. You know, he can, he can take you off the earth in many ways. But yet, he's sparing me, okay? Because he is a merciful power. Okay? But let's not forget, he is a terrible power as well. Not terrible as in he he's uh the worst or he's evil. No, he's a balanced power. You know? So I just want to read in the book of uh, Psalms, the 34th chapter. And I got a few, few, few precepts I want to bring out. It says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. And from time to time until uh, to the end of days. We all say, call Halal Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, which means all praises to the Heavenly Father Yahweh. By Hashem, meaning in the name, and Yahweh Shai is the name of our Lord. And then we say, by Hashem, meaning in the, and we say, Rakakadash, in the Holy Spirit. Okay? Now, verse 4, it says, I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me. From all my fears Okay Like I said It's a very dangerous job Okay I am aware Of all the danger that is set about me But In the midst of my work I, t I speak Consciously To Yahweh Shai. Okay You gotta acknowledge That Yahweh Shai Is there <clears throat> Because we got to re remember these precepts, okay? Let's go to verse 7. It says, The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and deliver them. And Yahweh Shem Yahshua going to keep you protected, okay? Because we fear him, okay? Because we we uh, we uh seek the ways of his laws, his statutes, and his commandments, okay? We seek to do his will. Uh, verse 11 says, Come ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. We fear Yahweh by Shem Shai. And we read in the seventh verse that the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. So we fear Yahweh by Shem Shai. When we heard this report, we didn't we didn't uh, tarry, okay? We made haste and we followed the Heavenly Father, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Um, we followed their commands, okay? 
So, verse 19 is the point that I wanted to get out of this chapter specifically. Uh, Psalms, the 34th chapter, and the 19th verse. It says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. Man, that job I had to do, I'm just giving my testimony. Okay? I'm not complaining. <laughs> Hell, I can complain. But what I'm doing is I'm giving you my testimony on how Yahweh Shemal Shai spared me and how he is a merciful power. It says, I'm gonna read it again. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth them, delivereth him out of them all. Now, I didn't want to do that job yesterday, okay? But I went in and did the job with Yahweh Shem Shai in my thoughts. I acknowledged him, okay? And I went in and got it done, and here I am today, okay? So if you're going through hell on the plantation, or, or where, wherever you're at, brethren, brethren and sisters, just, just go through it with Yahweh Shem Shai. Okay, so uh, verse 2, uh, Ecclesiasticus 2, uh, 1, it says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure, and make not haste in the time of trouble. Cleave unto him, and who are we cleaving unto? We're cleaving unto Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, by Shem, Yahweh Shai. Which is his son, our Lord. It says, Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Okay? And that specific job that I'm harping on that I had to do, and Yahweh Shemel Shai brought me through. Okay? That specific job was a faith booster, okay? Not many men will get out there and do that. And I'm not trying to boast in myself. I'm trying to tell you that that was a faith booster. I had to lean upon the Lord, okay? It says, verse, uh, I'm going to read verse 5 again. It says, for, for gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way aright. And trust in him Ye that fear the Lord Wait for his mercy And go not aside Lest ye fall Ye that fear the Lord Believe in him And your reward shall not fail Yet the fear of the Lord uh, oh, Ye that fear the Lord Hope for good And everlasting joy and mercy Verse 10 The point It says Look at the generations of old and see, did ever, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Okay. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in the time of affliction. We read in Psalms 34, 19, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them, delivered him out of them all. Okay? Lean upon the Lord, man. Because, um, man, what is that? What is that? The book of Romans? It says, ye that fear the Lord, believe in him, right? We just read that, right? Believe in him. Let me get that because this popped into my head the book of Romans <clears throat> what's that Rome Romans. no 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 it's the book of Hebrews yeah it's the book of Hebrews Salakia Hebrews the 11th chapter Hebrews 11 And six, okay? And this is the point that I want to bring out. The Lord willingness is edifying unto the elect. It says, 
But without faith, it is impossible to please him. To please who? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh. By Hashem, meaning in the name Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because the reason we say by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, because the Lord died for the sacrifice of the sins of Israel. And all power was given into his hands. Okay? So that's why we don't not acknowledge the Lord. Okay? He is very important. The water Yahweh. Uh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, okay, for their sure mercies. But let's get back to the point, Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You got to have some faith out here, okay? And, and my faith yesterday. And, and today and always forever will be in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So Lord willing, this is a faith booster for the elect, okay? Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to you, sincere Akim that teach this truth in sincerity. And Shalom to the sincere Akwatiyam who believe.